Hi, thanks for joining me for this week's video card for Friends with Flair Friday for Unity. Um, this week I'm going to be doing a very cute baby card. My brother-in-law and his wife are going to be having a little girl. So I'm going to be using this Unity stamp kit, Could I Be Any Cuter? I just love this little elephant stamp from it. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had this card in mind. I just had to do this. So I'm using the elephant and I'm going to be using this 6x6 paper pad by Basic Gray called Kiyoshi. It has some great pastel -y colors that are perfect for a baby card. I'm using this aqua bluish pastel kind of colored cardstock. I, I went ahead and adhered this to a panel of white cardstock, which is the George Pacific that I use. And I went ahead and scalloped the bottom of that white cardstock with a Fisker's border punch. And then I just sewed a zigzag along the top and the bottom in a craft colored tan thread. Um, I got a little thread sticking here, so I'm just going to glue this down real quick. That way it doesn't show on the, the popping out on, on the front of the card. Okay, so there's that's going to be the front of the card. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this elephant. I have a polka dot pattern paper, pink pattern paper that I made in Photoshop. I'm just going to stamp my elephant in this chalk or it's chestnut roan um, chalk ink from Colorbox. And I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut him out. I'm not going to worry about that tail because I'm going to be fixing that in a minute. Alright, so I'm placing him down just so I can see where I want him on the card. I'm going to stamp him directly on that card front. Okay. Oh, well, the, the trunk didn't stamp very well, but that's okay because I'm covering up with the popped up pink elephant. And his tail is here, so that's why I didn't worry about it when I cut it out from the pink cardstock. All right, now I'm just going to tie on some of this burlap string in brown. I like the string because it has a little bit of texture, which is kind of fun. And again, I'm not worrying about the back because it's going to be put on the front so you don't have to, you're not going to see what's on the back of this. And I already tied some burlap string in the center of this button. And the button doesn't sit very well on, on the card front. And so I'm grabbing a foam adhesive rather than a glue dot just so it sits a little more even. And then I'm just going to grab some glue dots and I'll put those other two pink buttons down with that. Alright, that pretty much finishes what I'm going to put on the front of the card. Since I'm giving this card away, I'm actually going to complete the inside. So I mimic the front of the card with that aqua colored, car, uh, colored paper and then the white cardstock again with the scalloped edge. And I'm just going to be stamping this little uh, saying welcome little one it comes from a studio G dollar stamp set that you can get either at um, either at Michaels any some craft stores it depends on which ones carry them I bought this one a long time ago if you're like me you have a huge stash of these I'm a collector what can I say so I just stamped that in that chestnut roan color box chalk ink again just so it matches the front of the card and since it's the inside of the card I wanted it to be really flat because I am going to be mailing this so I just glued it down with some tape adhesive okay done alright so we're going back to the front of the card I'm going to put 
be putting this on with some foam ad adhesive just to kind of pop it up. I think I forgot to tell you, this is basil uh, craft paper. It's a, I think, four by five and a half because I cut it from a 12 by 12 sheet. All right, that pretty much does it for this week's card. I actually finished the inside of a card for once, which is kind of fun. So thanks for joining me for this video card. I hope you have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye.